Hello again, Interghost here, and this is my first official um, programming video for the ZX Spectrum. If you haven't seen my first one on saving the program, go and have a look at that one first, so that you know how to save the program once you've done it. Uh, like I said, I do not know how to program on the ZX Spectrum. These videos, we're going to go through some simple programs together and see if we can work out how it all works. Uh, pretty much doing this because there isn't really anybody on YouTube who actually goes through the simple basics of programming. So I'm using Fuse and uh, the plus three. So let's just go to basic. This is where you type your programs in. I've also got on the side of the screen, you can't see it, but I've got a keyboard layout so that I can see where the different symbols are on the keys. And I'm using a uh, book which most people had back in the day called Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus User Guide. And I'm going to go through this and do their um, simple programs in here because they're only a few lines long before we go into a proper full-on game. So, on the first uh, page of uh, typing things in, we've got a program called Names. Uh, so we're going to do this, and all programs in these books seem to go in lines, and um, the, the lines are numbered, and they usually go up in tens. So, first one is 10, border 1. Now basically, this is, it executes the program in in line order, so it'll go this line first, and the next one, and the next one, unless you say something in the program which will send it back to a different line. And um, yeah, so the first command we're given it is to change the color of the border. On the spectrum, we have a border going around the edge. You see where this ends? So there's a border going all the way around the edge, and then you've got the main screen here, which is called the paper and then the actual colour of the uh, text on here is called ink. So first of all we're going to change the border to 1. There are 8 colours on the spectrum and I think 1 is like dark blue or blue and um, ooh, I've got to find where the colon is, it's on the Z key. So we're saying the border is going to be 1 and the ink is going to be RND which is apparently a random number so uh, what that does is it calls a number between um, no less than one but greater than zero uh, so it's going to be a um, was it a non integer integer is a full number a non integer is a like a decimal place number so um, that's how I understand it anyway so it's going to call a number in between one and zero and then it rounds it to the nearest um, whole number um, because there's eight numbers including the zero uh, what you do is you say times which is the star seven so we want the ink color to be um, zero or one to seven so that's the first line and then the second one, we want the paper, so that's the rest of this screen here, to also have a random number of um, 0 to 7. And then we want it to print, so uh, actually put some text on the screen and then you have to put inside uh, the little um, what are they called little dashes <laughs> I can't remember what they're called now but um, yeah so you've got to put in between these like there's little speech marks what you want to write so we're going to leave a space so that all the words don't run into each other and we just put interghost on YouTube um, yeah, and so then you have to close the uh, speech marks. And then we've also got to put a semicolon on the end. 
if you don't do that, it will literally print the uh, words underneath each other. So it's an integration on YouTube, next line integration on YouTube. By putting this little colon on, it will put the words after each other. So it's an integration on YouTube, and then it has that space, and then it will do it again. And it so it will fill up the whole screen rather than just listing it. And uh, finally, the last line is go to 10. So go to is just telling where the program needs to go next. So it go, goes in this order, gets down to line 40 and it says go to 10. So it sends you back up to the uh, number 10 and it will keep scrolling through this program until you uh, press the space key, which um, is, is called the break key and it, it stops the program. So once you've done that, you can save it. I've told you how to save on the last program. So we save it into names, replace that, and then you have to run the program. So you actually type run, and there we go. It prints them all across. So it goes on YouTube. It leaves the space so it doesn't all run into each other, and it gives you random um, paper and ink. And as you can see, the border is in blue. So if you press the return key it just keeps randomly changing the colors and there we go that's our first program on the ZX Spectrum so you press space and it breaks the program and takes you back to that screen so yeah hopefully you understood that that's how I um, understand it anyway if you've got any comments on uh, what I've said then I'd love to hear about it and uh, that's it for this one and I hope to see you in the next episode where we will do, be doing a um, program called Patterns. Remember to thumb up the video and subscribe if you want to see more. Cheers.